don't even do drugs and alcohol. I mean, you might have in the past, but you don't anymore. And I feel like they were trying to say that you, that, that like you did some illegal stuff for work, like selling your body, which is a lie. You would never do nothing like that. I mean, I could only speak for myself. I would never do no shit like that. Then you're not willing to sacrifice your purpose for nobody or anything. Fuck no. You ain't gonna let nobody... Yeah, no. Because you're doing God's work, what God sent you here to do. And your divine counterpart likes that about you. Something about your faith or your spirituality or something like that. That they really... One person could be like, you know, you could be spiritual and one person could be religious though. There might be like a little bit of difference or there. But you both worship like, you know, God and not, not the devil. <laughs> They could have been told that you worship something dark, like the devil or something like that. They found out that that's a damn lie. These people are weird, dude. I'm telling you right now, they're weird. Somebody's getting caught in the act doing something crazy. And I don't know why I'm keep picking up something about necromancy. Something about necromancy. These weirdos doing this weird stuff, they're getting caught in the act doing it. You're getting look, good looking fortune, okay? And they were lying, saying that you only wanted this person for their fortune, which is, because I feel like your divine counterpart is, like, very much so wealthy. These idiots, there was a lot of lies told about you, saying that you, uh, they were saying, yeah, they were saying that you only wanted them, you only wanted their per to be with them because of money. You're not even a materialistic person. What? And that you wanted them for their fortune. All these lies, because the, the king of swords in the rebirth, that's like a pathological liar. They wake up, tell lies, tell lies all throughout the day and night. They go to sleep, tell lies. They don't even know the truth. They believe their own lies. They're a pathological and a habitual liar. Narcissist to the fullest of all degrees. But he knows the truth, or he or she knows the truth now. And they're constantly throwing stones your way at your work and to this union but now this person's finally starting to you know go inward and and find out for themselves instead of listening to these idiots that are just liar lying haters and i feel like somebody that your person was that you're about to come into union with or maybe you did okay congratulations to anybody that um to, to those of you who are in union i wish you nothing but the absolute best okay your ex is definitely making a lot of lies on you your ex is going out and saying that because your ex wants to be with you okay also the, this your your person somebody that they really trusted um was lying about them to you i mean about you to them because they wanted to either like they either wanted to be with your person or um, and it's weird because I feel like it's, a, it's, I don't know, but like it, they either wanted to be with you or they wanted to be with your person. So they were lying to them about you. Saying, no, nah, no, nah, you shouldn't be with that person. They're only like making up all these lies, throwing so many stones. And then standing there acting like it wasn't them. Be careful with people like that. Stop listening to people, okay? Be a grown ass adult, okay? And a man or woman, whatever you are, and make up your own mind. Stop letting people make up for your mind for you. Like, that's ridiculous. And it's annoying. I can't stand somebody that can't think for themselves. Think for yourself. Stop listening to other people, dude. Always been that way. Because I know how many haters are out there, you know what I mean? I've been dealing with them my whole freaking life. They're pathetic losers. They ain't got nothing like. You know, they say so they go around saying all these lies about you, but yet they want to be with you. Like, what? You're a fucking weirdo, dude. Get your life together. What little of it you have left because somebody's drinking themselves and drugging themselves to death. And it's this person that constantly keeps attacking your work. Somebody that you had a lot. It's like an uncle figure or like a father figure. Someone in like, like you consider to be family, but I feel like they're not really family. For some of you, it is family. Somebody that you, you know, that you were always building up and they were constantly breaking you down. Behind your back, though, of course, throwing the stones and hiding their hands while living in a glass house. 
equivalent. Some about a house of mirrors or something. What the heck is that? Yeah, they found out you're very powerful, okay? You're, they found out you were a very divine being, very powerful. You're very good looking. Both of you are very good, per, um, very good person, very loving, nurturing, caring person. And, you know, you get the attention everywhere you go. You both do, okay? You're very much so respected, especially whatever you do for your work, okay? You know, this energy is so stagnant. Like, I just want to, ill. And I'm telling you, it's that Leo again. It's that same energy, and it's it's back. Like they're they must be. I don't know if they're drunk right now, and they're just uh, or they're just really ticked off. They must have got some sort of information. Either you ticked them off, or well, they're mad at you, or like they got some sort of news from like they got arrested, or they got served paperwork or something. And they're like they're back to that energy where when I see that Leo card, I just want to throw it. It's back. It's like that again. I was just saying earlier, I haven't felt it that bad, and now it's back. It's like that. It's that energy. I know it is. Sit down, sir. Sit down, man. They're mad because they can't stop you. They can't block you. And their masks are pulled off. And I feel like they got caught in the act. They could have got caught with the GP, um, GPS tracker. Tracking somebody or tracking you. Or somebody else. Are you mad because because what you were doing, what, what stones you were throwing and hiding your hands have come like your DNA was on there and your your fingerprints were on it? You didn't think about that one though, did you? Oh wait, that's right. You're mad because your mask came off. Like what? When you know damn right well you're the one that was doing it. Get your life together. You have nobody to be mad at except for yourself. Nobody did nothing wrong to you. But because people are finding out the truth about you, you're upset. What did what did the collective do to you? Come up with one one thing. Oh, they didn't allow to cut you off and wouldn't allow you to hurt them no more. Get your life together. Think of one thing that the collective did wrong to you. I'm not gonna wait because I know I'll be here for an eternity. Okay, so knock it off. You have nobody to be made it besides yourself. You're a creep, dude, and you know all the creepy stuff you've been doing. Knock it off. Be mad at yourself. Or because all the attacks that they're sending your way is going back to them because they're not attacking you, they're attacking themselves, especially because they're attacking your purpose. They're attacking God, okay? You're doing God's work. You're just, you know, what? So how do you think that's really gonna pan out? Queen of Cups. They know you're their divine, you know, you're a very loving, nurturing, caring person, okay? They found out the truth. Mask off. They found out they're even looking at you as like marriage material. Or somebody might be getting married. Congratulations to somebody that is in union. Or they might be planning this. Or you just might be already, you know, they already might have popped the question to you. Congratulations. Or this might be what they're planning with the two of wands here. And that's why they're constantly like trying to stop this, spot this, you know what I mean, before it could happen. Because they know this person, these people know who you are, okay? This is somebody that's, you know, that knows you personally. I feel like it's somebody that was once close to you, all right? And they know once this person meets you, it's a wrap. They know, you know, you are marriage material. They know this person's going to fall in love with you. They might want to take you to the beach. There's a lot of water, a lot of beaches here, okay? Something about the beach could be significant. Or they, and they know you're a healer with all this water healing, you know? I feel like this is like an out, out, outdoors. Like, yeah, look at all this water. This whole line is all outdoor stuff. I feel like this is like an outdoorsy type of person. Very much so connected to Mother Nature. I feel like you two are going to be doing a lot together, like... Um, it's something like about like, you know, vacations or something possibly like, or like doing like, you know, something to do with outdoors, maybe going out to the corn, like the, to the, to the beach. Some about the beach is very much so significant. Somebody could have a shore house or something.
But this is why, because they know you're about to come into union. They know that this person is going to definitely fall in love with you. Some about love at first sight or something. This could definitely be a twin flame, all right? I feel like because they know that this is your person, okay? And once you meet, like if it is if it is a twin flame, once your eyes meet each other, either it's going to use or are going to remember each other. And this is their, this, these people's worst nightmare because these are the people that were sent in your life to try to stop and block this. This is why they're going so ham right now. You're a healer for sure. Also, okay, like I said, something about a drinking the drinking issue or whatever this is. Yeah, you're not good. Um, they they might be healing that or they might not be willing to sacrifice that. Or, But I don't know. I feel like maybe in the past they weren't willing to sacrifice. But then, yeah, that's what this is. They weren't willing in the past, okay? These, these people are going to prison, okay? These people from your past, they're not going to be reunion with you. They're going to prison, okay? Your God heard your prayers. They're being answered because you healed the four swords. Everything's being balanced out because how you've been how you've been um, handling everything and how you healed. You're moving away and you're moving forward. You're, you're, you're possibly be moving across the body of water, but again, there's more water. Okay, look at this. There's a lot of water. You're definitely a healer, especially with the four swords here, the six of pentacles. I mean, the six of um, cups in the reverse. These people, you know, from your past, they weren't willing to to sacrifice like you know whatever they were celebrated like how like you know stopping you and blocking you um they're all going to prison because of this okay they whatever they're getting paid good money okay they were partying all the time they weren't they weren't willing to sacrifice what they were getting paid to torture you and cause you chaos in your life so now they're all caught they're all going to prison they're done all right now also you have this person i feel like maybe in the past they weren't willing to sacrifice whatever i feel like it's some sort of addictions or like party like a party lifestyle possibly but because they weren't willing to sacrifice it they were possibly going through chaos like it was spirit's way of letting them know like yo stop like you're not this is your person i feel like this is definitely a twin flame like this is a twin flame that you are destined to be with this lifetime knock it off you need to do this right but there was it's not their fault they were lied to there's a lot of lies and betrayals that were made but they weren't like you know people were were purposely having this person drink part like purposely making them come out and party with them because they wanted this person off balance so they can send these attacks to them they didn't want this person to to wake up and see what's been going on because these people have been stealing from him stealing from him or her as well and this person is very generous this is a very generous person and they're like this person's like paying for people and everything else and they they weren't like cause this person has some sort of like good luck and fortune already they're very much so well off so they're constantly, that's another thing they're worried about. They're worried about you two coming together and they know that you're a very intuitive person. You'd be able to pick up the people that were, that are, you know what I mean? Doing this person, doing your, your twin flame dirty. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they're scared of that. They're like, there's no way. And so they're purposely making like, oh, let's go out and drink. Let's do like, even when this person even like, wasn't even thinking about it. They're like, yo, let's drink. They're waking up drinking and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, and in the past, they weren't willing to, to sacrifice their party days. Like, you know what I mean? But I feel like this person's starting to get, not that they're not old by no means. They're just not, they're getting older. They're wanting to settle down now, possibly, or something like that. They were like, maybe not right this second, but you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're tired of people that are fake. Okay. Um, always being in their face and wanting something from them but yet like don't do nothing for them okay it's all fake love like this person's ready for like actual like somebody they can trust like a true love like situation which is you know which is you because you're it's i'm strongly picking up on a twin flame here now since they weren't learning this lesson there's a lot of chaos maybe to their work possibly as well because you are mirroring souls so whatever's happening to you is happening to them as well and they weren't picking up like that's what this is it's because they need to sacrifice something and it's like that party lifestyle possibly or like calm down because they're, that's when they're sending these attacks is when this person's under the influence and there's some sort of binding magic done too there could have been some sort of sex addiction for some of you i mean for for some of them i, I don't know 
but where they were trying to attach to something to my left ear was ringing and it was ringing loud okay so they were attached there maybe their past person or whatever was attaching some something to them while they're being intimate there was some sort of binding magic that's being broken and it's during it's some sort of sex magic they know you're a healer all right and i feel like they want to come in and heal with you or help have you heal them and i feel like they went inward they found out the truth they're they're told you know they're going to keep going through this until they learn this lesson and they need to cut these people off they're starting to discover this they're breaking the bonds okay and they're told well yo he's coming to you and you're going to have this you know this is your person you know you're going through this chaos because you're around snakes that don't care about you when you have somebody that loves you with all their heart and soul right here that would never do you dirty and that will heal you and they're trying to get out of this chaos destruction of evil mayhem this could be definitely your emperor i'm strongly getting this they're trying to get out of this rough waters okay because they're not learning the lessons or they weren't in the past but maybe they are now they're they're removing some sort of binding magic or whatever bond like they need to do a court cutting is what they need to do they need to cleanse is what they need to do as well and it's somebody that's really close to them i feel like i feel like it's a masculine energy as well as as well as their somebody like their ex that's been doing a lot i feel like it could be even like their like right hand man who's doing them super dirty possibly for somebody that's not for everybody it could be like a brotherly figure like it could be either like a brother or a father or an uncle or somebody they look at that way especially if it's your twin all right there's like you know whatever whatever you you know is going on in your life it's going to be a similar mirroring ex experience if it is a twin flame but with the mirror i'm strongly getting this and these people from your past there will not be a reunion okay so if you're thinking oh i'm gonna get back with if you're thinking that your false flame is your twin it's not that's your false one and this is why you're going to come into union because you're not willing to sacrifice your celebrations your actual true you know who your true person is and you're not going backwards there's no reason to look back because you're not going back you're going forward and up and that's it so some of these people from your past they're caught they're going to prison yeah the people that you walked away from and he's walking away or he or she your your divine counterpart is walking away from some sort of binding as well somebody's trying to walk away from prison they're trying to run from prison they're trying to run from their justice or they're, they're in jail trying to get out of jail also that they're he's finding out that somebody was trying to get him locked up just like somebody was trying to frame you and get you locked up he's finding out the same thing this is crazy these people are just ridiculous bro it's just so annoying i thought we were done with this like karmic ass leo of like being so calm maybe they were maybe they were in jail okay maybe they just got out of jail maybe that's why i feel this energy like this again maybe they got locked up somebody from your past with the chariot and also the and the the, the eight the eight of swords followed by the eight of um what do you call it the eight of cups somebody from your past confirmation that's why their energy wasn't so stagnant because they were in jail possibly or they were like i don't know Maybe they got out of jail and now that like they could have got picked up and now they're working with the feds and setting these people up. So while they're out working with the feds, trying to run too, they're, this person's going to try to run. Whoever bailed them out, it wasn't smart if they got bail. They might have just got let out because the authorities, you know, needed them to, to do something. But yeah, that energy is back again and it's, it's really disgusting. It's like where I just want to throw the cards again, like that nasty energy. So just be mindful of that. Cleanse if you have paleo santo, sick, sage, you know, um, do a salt bath if you want like a spiritual bath and visualize while you're taking this salt bath, okay? Um, Intuitive Kev has, you know, amazing um, spiritual bath, like, you know, like the salt bath stuff is the, for, you know, protection um, bath stuff. Um, 
what you want to do is when you're but you can even order off the you know um off of his uh etsy shop or you can get like epsom salt you know take it get the bath bombs to put it in there um light a candle if you like the light candle and you you know what i do is i put headphones on when i lay in the tub and i listen to um whatever frequency if it's a return to sender or a cord cutting whatever it is or like you know whatever i decide to put on whatever i feel need to at that time um and i visualize okay um cords being cut severed and permanently removed and archangel michael like you first see as for archangel michael to to put a um permanent sacred bubble protection around you that no weapon permanent against you shall prosper and you you know you want to call upon god jesus you know whatever archangels you want to you definitely want archangel michael there and um archangel raphael and have archangel raphael healing you and cleansing all your chakras while archangel michael is you know um cutting the cords and visualize the cords being cut severed and permanently removed and like the spots where the cords were being like sealed okay sealed over and and healed completely healed all right and just like imagine all the negative energy and everything being removed from your body okay and when the water is going confirmation say and when the water is when you're done the bath okay um you know i don't know if you take a shower first and then a bath or if you do the bath and then you wash off with the shower afterwards sometimes i do you know sometimes i'll do the shower part first then i take the bath or other times you know i'll do the shower afterwards like i'll wash my hair and everything and like my the body to wash everything off but if it's something where it feels a little stagnant i'll do the shower part first okay because then you want the 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 cleansing you know the to possibly air dry works really good too so you want to wash your body first and then do it or you know but if you didn't wash your body first definitely wash your body after you do the bath okay but um yeah, like, because you're just going to be sitting in dirty water, you know what I mean? But when your water's going down the drain, you just want to, you know, visualize, like, you know, all the toxins, all the negativity, all the, the drama, all the chaos, everything, leaving your body and going down that drain and filling your body, like, you breathing in, um, all cleanse, like, you know, energy, okay? And any money blockages, just see, like, the, the blockages going down the drain and breathe in like abundance financial abundance or whatever it is okay um stuff like that i hope to help you guys out for those of you who are like new to this and you don't really know how this works sorry for the people that already do know but we got to help the people that don't know because i wish i had somebody there to help me out you know they're freaking out these people in, in your past they can't sleep at night they're boohoo crying because they know that all the, th the students that they've been throwing with you know behind your back and, and hiding their hands they didn't realize yeah they're still throwing them and their dna and their fingerprints are on those stones and it's all coming to light god's shining a light on it all and they're caught somebody could have left some sort of dna or fingerprints behind at like you know some sort of evidence bigger like either you know um digital fingerprints um paper trail something like that or actually like evidence like dna or something who is spirit the plant spirit angels ancestors and loved ones that passed away no wonder why it's so funny because I, like i literally was i had the heart chakra frequency going at first but then right when i went to go you know to do to do the reading right before i hit record i was like now nah, something's really just telling me to switch this in and i see exactly why now <laughs> beck a loser is playing you know that song i'm a loser baby so why don't you i don't even want to speak that into my into existence but why don't you you know on a lot you know that song's playing in my head yeah they're a loser they realize this because they've been exposed and that's also leo energy you could be a Leo, but you know, you know um, that karmic Leo is what I'm talking about, okay? But they've been exposed, these people from your past. And I'm telling you, that one karmic one, and it's somebody that was very close to you that you considered to be family. Either they were or was someone you gave that badge of honor um, and, and like would tell people it was your family when it wasn't. And the same thing's happening to your twin flame. Somebody that they truly loved, which was like an uncle figure, or like a brother, or um, um, they called their dad, or something like that. It's happened the same thing, similar experiences, mirroring experiences. 
Okay, it could even be somebody that they consider to be a sister or an aunt, okay? If it's, if it's like an uncle for you and you're a female, it could be like an aunt or a sister. You know what I'm saying? It could be either or. But they're going through similar situations as you. They're, they're very spiritual too. Like obviously if it is Twin Flame, you are both extremely powerful, extremely um, spiritual people just by ourselves and let alone when you get you know you come to union this is why you got to know too like you're going to be under like spiritual warfare especially towards um towards the end it's just like how you how you deal with it okay and just know you're protected right that's all you got to do is your faith and like I, again like i said your faith and your um the way you're dealing with things and your patience is, is um is paying off tremendously okay and being fearless you have to lose all fears, all right? And it's a lot easy. It, I mean, I know you're like, what do you mean? How do you do that? Like, for the people that are, like, newer, like, you know what I mean? But it, it's, it's, you'll understand. The more you go, the more lessons you learn, the more you, you, you raise, you know, you rise above, you'll understand, like, and you'll be fearless, completely fearless. Like, what is there to be feared? Now, think about everything you've been through, okay? You're still here, okay? And when you get to a certain point, you realize, like, what death really is. You're not afraid of death. So how can you really put fear into somebody that has been through more than this whole group, whole coven, secret society has been, you know, put through by the time you were eight years old, you know what I mean? Um, then they have their whole lives, okay? And, you know, um, you're not you're not afraid to die. Like, why would you be afraid to die? What, because what, you're just going to make me leave this tent, this place that's like with everybody that's a snake around you to go back home to heaven where, where God is? Get out of here and first of all when you know that you're too protected that's not going to happen because you have a purpose to be here what are you afraid of when you have god on your side you have god all around you uh, on, on all four sides above you and like you know all the way around you no no um no weapon formed against you will shall prosper when you know that, what are you would be, what are you being afraid of? Now, does that mean you go out acting reckless? Absolutely not. That'd be like slapping God in the face. You don't do that, but you're not going to because you're in your prey, okay? But like seriously, your your strength, your faith, and your protection really scares these people too. They're starting to wake up to who you truly are, and again, this is another reason why this person's attacking you so much too, because they know it's over for them. And they're just thinking like, oh, well, let me just take this person, you know what I mean? Instead of like changing their ways and trying to save their, um, their soul and save, like, they don't, people don't realize there's many different layers to hell, okay? And these people, they keep acting the way they are, they're going to go to the worst part of hell. They're just making it worse on themselves. And they, whatever attacks they send you, it's not, you know what I mean? It's not going, okay, a house full of mirrors, all right? Exactly. Whenever, just like, you know, when they say don't throw stones when you live in a glass house. And like I said, these people are throwing stones in, um, while living in a glass house and hiding their hands, right? Well, it's not a, it's not a glass, that's what that means, all right? Um, they're living not only in a glass house, but they're in, in a house of mirrors. So anytime they're throwing a stone, it's not even going through the glass. It's going, it's hitting the mirror, bouncing right back to them. It's not going near you. They're attacking themselves. Not smart. And I feel like because they're attacking you too, and they're it's when they're attacking you, it's not affecting you. Yeah, you'll you'll pick up the signs because spirit just wants you to know. God wants you to know what's being done. Okay, and. So this way you can also do like so that the angels are already doing so much for you. This way you can protect yourself too and make it not so hard on the angels. Like, the, you know, um, to just give them like a lighter load, okay? Because if you only knew how many people were truly like attacking you, people that you don't even know, let alone the people that you do know, just to lighten the load for the angels, you know what I mean? So yeah, spirits can allow us to know. We're going to pick up and plus just us being who we are. And we pick up, we can feel other people's energies. We can feel it, okay? Especially like you're, you're continuing, you can, you're continuously, continu <laughs> continuously um, rising, okay? And at a rapid pace too. So like you're getting more sensible, okay? Like you're more, um, you know, 
more um you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> all right <laughs> you're getting more like prone to this stuff but you you're like you're starting to sense it before you're getting their thoughts or their plans before before they even like conjure it up and before they like as they're thinking of it you already know what's happening so you're protecting yourself you're at that point yeah so you're able to protect yourself before it's even done and just very important for you to know what's your energy and what's not your energy what they're projecting on you and sending your way okay and once you feel that and you realize like this ain't my energy what's going on here you just surrender you know you first of all send it back okay if you want to send it back okay and and trust me like you know i used to be like that too where i didn't send it back before now i do because you know you after you more level the more like higher levels um higher devils you know what i mean so you're gonna see like and plus you don't want to have to like give the angels make the angels do everything you're already doing so much for us so you're trying to lighten the load now that doesn't mean do any dark magic or anything like that absolutely not just return it to the person all right but if you don't feel comfortable doing it don't do it i mean do whatever you want to do but like try to lighten the load for the angels and no that doesn't mean you go do any attacks to somebody absolutely not no you do not do that and yes you have the light and the dark protecting you but that does not mean you work with the dark that just means that god has the dark protecting you as well okay And because, like, you could definitely be aware of the fact that if you decide to do some sort of low vibrational crap, you would swipe them out, like, you know, you know, in, in a blink of an eye without barely even trying. But you don't because you're not a low vibrational person. And because of that, because you're doing everything in the light and in the upright is why you're getting this and everything's speeding up even more because the way you're handling everything. And with all odds stacked up against you and everybody, you know, you know, let alone the people you don't even know that's been attacking you, all right, um, and attacking your work, you're still, you still manage to pick yourself up every single time and, and heal yourself, all right, and become bigger and better and stronger and more powerful. And you're still able to find your purpose, create a business, I feel like, your own business at the worst times, like when then people are just looking at you like, who are you? How are you able to do this? And they, you know, I know for me personally, I couldn't tell you how many different people who told me like, who like, and that would tell me that I am an angel and would tell me like, who are you? Like, where are you from? Like, because, you know, they know and tell me how strong and powerful I am. It's because they know because they, they, they've been attacking me in the spirit. And they're like, how come it's not here? Yeah. Yeah, and plus, let alone everything I've also been through in the 3D, let alone in the spirit. But they don't realize we're even more powerful in the spirit than we are here. For some of you... That authority figure is your divine counterpart, is, is your twin flame. For some of you. And then for some of you, like they're they're still it's not an authority figure, but they're 